When it comes to following a mobility or stretching routine, there are a lot of options available. From Peloton to GoWad to pliability and more, it can be hard to know which one's going to be best for you. But don't worry because I've tested five of the most popular mobility apps and we'll be ranking each of them to help you make the right choice. Now for each of the five apps, I will be ranking them in six categories, from the ease of use of the app itself to the quality of the content to the price. There actually was a sixth app I tested called stretching exercise, but it was really garbage in pretty much every category. So I just decided not to include it. Uh, you should definitely not consider that one. Your knees should face the same direction as your toes. Anyways, tier one is the top ranking, meaning it's best in class. Tier two means it's better than average. Tier three means it's worse than average. And tier four means it's just really bad. Now, ranking each of these apps by category should help you make a better decision for yourself since you may find some categories more important than others. And make sure to stay to the end of the video to get my overall recommendations on which mobility app I suggest that you go with. And a big shout out to today's sponsor, Inside Tracker, who you can learn more about later on in the video. So when it comes to app quality, what I'm really looking for is a mobility app that is easy to navigate, has good filters, making it easy to find exactly what I want, gives me good details about the session before I actually start it so I know what I'm jumping into, and helps give some guidance towards what I should be working on every day. Starting with Peloton, while the app quality in general is excellent for running and cycling classes, it is noticeably weaker when it comes to stretching and mobility. And while you can filter between upper body, lower body, and whole body stretching sessions, or even some pre or post workout routines, there isn't much here to indicate what you'll be doing during any of those sessions or which muscle groups you'll be focusing on specifically. There's no way, for example, to find a routine focusing on your hamstring or ankle flexibility. You can choose one of the random lower body routines and hope it covers what you'd like, but that's really all you can do. And there's also not really any guidance on here for what you should be doing in terms of choosing a mobility class, so Peloton falls into tier 3. Now, GoWad is a bit different as the routines here are not instructed, so there are no real classes to filter through. Instead, you choose a daily routine built around areas you need to work on, or pre or post workout mobility routines based on the movements that you are doing. The navigation though is pretty simple and straightforward. You choose an area you'd like to work on, the time you have available, and a routine will be generated for you. And while the guidance is pretty nice within the system, it also suffers a little in a similar way to Peloton in that you can't choose which muscle group or movement pattern that you would like to work on. You can choose upper or lower body, but again, you'll have to hope that it generates what you would like it to. Now there is a movement library that you can search, but you will need to know the name of the stretch instead of just being able to type in like all chest exercises to find something in that category. So while it isn't perfect, it's still pretty decent and falls into tier two. Pliability, which was previously named ROMWAD until it changed last year, is the big winner in this category. Not only are there various paths and suggestions, but the navigation and filtering system is extremely well done giving you the ability to filter through over 1600 routines by time frame and target areas or movements you would like to prepare or recover from. Each session tells you exactly what you will need, what areas are being targeted, and even exactly which movements you will be doing. Additionally, you may find a session that looks great but feels a bit too long, but with pliability, many times these sessions have an additional option to choose what they call their quick routine version, which is the same video but with a little bit cut out so that it fits into a shorter time frame. So pliability easily makes it into tier one here. Now, the Ready State app can be a bit clunky at first compared to some of the more polished apps like Pliability, but the filtering system is well done, and additionally, there is a special section for each body part with videos on how to deal with pain or limited mobility you may have in that area. There are plenty of prep and recovery sessions to sort through as well as general maintenance routines, which can range from 10 to 30 plus minutes in length. So while the navigation through the app isn't the smoothest, it's still well done overall and so fits into tier two in terms of the quality of the app. Stretch It is similar to Peloton in that the sessions are very generalized with little way to filter or know exactly what you're getting into besides the basic categories. The programs here do provide some guidance as to what to do next though, so it isn't terrible but definitely belongs in tier three. 
Another great feature of the best mobility apps is the ability to test and retest your own flexibility, both to enhance any suggested guidance that the app may offer, but also to allow you to get a clear indicator of whether you are making progress or not. Peloton unfortunately doesn't have any mobility testing, so clearly falls into tier four. GoWad actually has the most thorough test and retest feature of the bunch. It takes you through a wide variety of tests on both sides of your body and has you rate each one relative to the picture on the app, which makes it really easy and accurately to self-assess. It then uses this data when creating your daily mobility routines, so I would definitely rate GoWad in tier one for this category. Pliability has the coolest, most high-tech mobility test of the bunch, which utilizes the camera on your smartphone to give you a personalized mobility score. It works really well and guides you along the way to ensure that you get a correct score. And like GoWad, it uses the data from this test to provide suggestions catered to you based on what you need to work on the most. The only weakness in this assessment is that it only analyzes your overhead reach and then a squat with your arms overhead from several directions. And while this gives you some good data, I do wish it was able to go more in depth on other movement patterns. So for that reason, I'm going to put pliability here in tier two. The Ready State has a mobility test that is similar, though a bit less in depth than the one on GoWad. And after taking it, it will give you scores in various categories, in addition to a personalized mobility plan. In your mobility plan, you can find several suggested videos to choose from in each area. Now, it may not be the best test or retest system, but it definitely is better than all of the other apps besides GoWad, and so makes it into tier two. And finally, Stretch It, similar to Peloton, does not have any mobility testing, and so goes along with it to tier four. So while a good test is great, one of the most important pieces to a good mobility app is the ability to have it customized to you, to your preferences, to what you need to work on, and the equipment you do or do not have. Peloton, again, falls pretty far short here. There's no real way to customize anything for you. You just need to pick and choose each time which class you'd like to take and hope it is something that you would like to work on. So clearly tier four. GoWad was really created around the idea of customization, so it should be no surprise to see that it excels fairly well in this category. You can select which equipment you have, you can turn on and off the voice and the bell cues, as well as adjust the transition time between movements. The personalized flow sessions are customized around your weaknesses while balancing out everything else, and you can adjust the warmups and cooldowns based on the movements you performed or are about to perform. So GoWad makes it to tier one here. Pliability doesn't have the full customization that GoWad has, but it does give you personalized recommendations based on your mobility test. And the filtering system is so good and in depth here that it makes finding exactly what you need so easy. And as I mentioned earlier, you can even adjust some of the recorded sessions to a quicker version if you are short on time. So while I'm putting it into tier two, it is very close to tier one in my opinion. Now the Ready State has some really solid customization options options. As I mentioned earlier, you can select a specific body part and browse through specific exercises to help with that area. You can get personalized suggestions as well for each area every day after taking the mobility test. And you can adjust the app with specifics on which equipment you have available. And the list for mobility tools that can be used here is far more extensive than the rest from foam rolling to lacrosse balls to mobility exercises requiring a voodoo floss band, a bench or a chair, or even partner stretches. And I think the breadth of options here is very strong and enough for me to put it over the top into tier one. Now stretch it like Peloton doesn't really have any customizable options, so it goes along with it into tier four. Now when it comes to customization, if you want guidance on how to customize your habits and diet around your own personal blood and DNA analysis, that is exactly what today's sponsor Inside Tracker are experts at. Inside Tracker was created by experts in aging, genetics, and biometric data from Harvard, Tufts, and MIT. Inside Tracker provides personalized health analysis and clear recommendations, plus an action plan on how to live healthier longer. Inside Tracker can be used to calculate your biological age, the rate at which you're aging compared to your chronological age, as well as ways to lower your biological age. And the thing I love most about Inside Tracker is that after I took the test and got all of my data, they gave me personalized recommendations 
recommendations on things I could do to optimize my health, like changes in food, supplementation, and exercise. I highly recommend it. You can use your HSA, HRA, and FSA to buy any Inside Tracker plan, and for a limited time, you can get 20% off the entire Inside Tracker store when you sign up with the link below. So another feature of mobility apps you may want to have is sport specific routines and guidance. Whether you are a runner, cyclist, crossfitter, or weightlifter, or whatever, it is nice to have an app that can recognize some of the habitual patterns you are using and so give you a better optimized routine to keep you injury free and of course performing at your best. Now Peloton does offer a little bit here. There are pre and post workout routines for both running and cycling and even a few for boxing. And while this is all pretty decent, there are surprisingly no warm-ups for lifting weights and no sport-specific full mobility routines that are meant to be done outside your workout. So Peloton makes it into tier three here. GoWa does have pre and post workout routines based on various movements. And while you can select movements like running or rowing, everything here seems to be based on CrossFit training. So it's very specific to CrossFit, but not much else. And similar to Peloton, the sport specificness of the app is really intended only for that pre and post workout mobility and nothing for general maintenance for specific types of athletes. So GoWa will be placed in tier three as well. Pliability does a bit better here with several programs to choose from catered to various athletes, warm-ups and cool-downs for various forms of exercise, and you can search by movement like running or rowing for example and find a ton of routines that would be good to do for that type of exercise. There is a good amount of content here to choose from, though I would like to see a bit more that was really specific to various sports, so I'll put pliability into tier 2 for now. And when it comes to sports-specific content, the Ready State is the clear leader here, with sports-specific content for the usuals like running, cycling, and rowing, but also for swimming, baseball, basketball, skiing, and a variety of other sports. And within each are a large number of videos and mobility exercises that work well for that sport, not only for pre and post training, but also for general maintenance with that sports requirements in mind. So the Ready State makes tier one in this category. Stretch It doesn't have any sport specific routines. So unless you count the splits as being sport specific, it will fall into tier four here. Okay, so this should probably be the most important category for you because if you're gonna spend time stretching or working on your mobility, you probably want to follow routines that are developed to provide you the results you are looking for. And Peloton's mobility classes are just not going to cut it. I actually love taking their classes because their instructors are really interesting and the music is usually really good, but my God, the mobility work on there is some of the worst. It isn't too bad when it comes to pre or post workout stuff. In fact, those are actually pretty good. But when it comes to actually building mobility and flexibility away from the workouts, Peloton just does not deliver. They move rapidly from one movement to the next, I guess an attempt to keep people entertained, but you won't get more flexible by holding a stretch for 30 seconds or even just a minute. Two minutes should really be the shortest amount of time you typically want to spend on a stretch, again, outside of pre or post workout. And I have never seen Peloton spend even that long on a single movement. So for that reason, Peloton makes it into tier three. GoWad 2 does that same sort of Peloton shuffle, moving you from one movement to the next every minute. And since it isn't coached, there is very little variety or nuance to the stretches themselves. So a hamstring stretch will always just be that without any additional angles or suggested breathing or PNF where you hold real tight and then release. And so I have found the content to be pretty poor to use long term. And so GoWad falls into tier three here as well. Pliability does a much better job. You hold positions for a long time on many of these classes, and sometimes so much that you may actually hate it, but ultimately will love it when you actually start to see some results. The instruction here is great, talking you through each movement and the alternatives, breathing patterns, and pretty much everything you need to have a great experience. It isn't perfect though. Almost all the content is based around no equipment, so there is little option for myofascial release or foam rolling, and most of the stretching work here is is passive, which is relaxing to do, but may have less functional transferability to everyday life and sport. So because of that, pliability just falls a little bit shy of tier one here. 
And when it comes to the quality of content, the Ready State again leads the pack. Most videos featuring Dr. Kelly Starrett, who not only provides the most useful instruction in this category, but arguably the most entertaining as well. The content is so in-depth that you'll always be learning something new and useful, even when the stretches themselves are basic. Dr. Starrett's showing that there is a lot more to mobility work than just holding a simple position. The content here is also the most in-depth when it comes to various tools that you can use to improve your mobility and flexibility. Of course, the Ready State won't show you videos that require tools you don't have, but you may want to get some as the videos using additional tools add a lot of value. The Ready State again makes it up to tier one. Stretch It here does a decent job of instruction and the stretches sometimes are held long enough to get results, but the content itself is so lacking that it can be hard to find enough good quality sessions here to justify any sort of subscription. There is far less available here than on any other app on this list, and unless your focus is on getting into the splits, most of the mobility routines here aren't that great. The split routines here are pretty decent though if that's your one and only focus, so tier three for this. And finally, let's take a look at what each of these apps have to offer alongside their price to see if you're getting a lot from that membership cost or not. So with Peloton, currently the app price is $12.99, but I do believe that they are changing their pricing soon, so you may need to look it up. If you are just getting the Peloton app for mobility, then it's probably not worth it. They have around 20 new sessions added per month, the vast majority of which though are the five minute pre and post workout cooldowns. Though there are some occasions where they add other additions like foam rolling and longer routines, but I don't think most people pay for the Peloton app for the mobility alone and instead use Peloton for cycling, running, or strength routines. And if so, the mobility is a nice little extra that is included, even if it's not great. So tier four for just mobility given the price, but much better than that if you're using the app for its other features. GoWad is currently $11.99 per month or $107.99 per year. And to be honest, that does feel a bit high given that they don't actually provide any real content, but just a system to follow along to using an AI coach who barely guides you through the various routines. It's okay if you're into CrossFit, but definitely not otherwise. I have to put GoWad into tier three here given the cost for what it is. Pliability is a bit more expensive at $13.99 per month or $139.99 per year, but there is a lot more value that you get here. Every day, pliability adds at least one new full 20 plus minute routine alongside a shorter version of it, and they often add more on top of this through specific programs. And because their filtering system is so good with over 1600 routines to choose from, I feel like the cost is definitely justified. So even though it's one of the most expensive options, I have to place pliability into tier one here. The ready state is $14.99 per month or $159.99 per year, so on the higher side as well, but given that the ready state is the only mobility app to get tier one on the quality of its content, the price is more than justified. There is a huge amount of content to check out here and continues to grow with several new videos added per week. Like pliability, the value more than justifies the cost and so it makes it into tier one too. Stretch It is actually the most expensive app on this list at $19.99 per month or $159.99 per year. And given that it has the least amount of content and very little new content added frequently, I do not think it is worth it at all. And so definitely falls on the low side of tier four. Okay, so now let's get into recommendations. My primary recommendation would be to check out the Ready State. I think the quality of the content here is just so much higher than the other options that it's hard to recommend anything else. It also has one of the longer free trials of the bunch with two weeks that you can use for free to see if you like it or not. And if for some reason you end up not liking it, then the next app I would suggest would be to check out Pliability. As I mentioned earlier, I don't think you're gonna see as good results with this program, but it is very high quality and the app is great in general. Additionally, if you want more of a sort of mix between mobility and yoga, then you may find the routines on pliability more to your liking. GoWad is also an okay option for CrossFitters specifically, though I don't think it is worth the cost currently. And finally, Peloton and Stretch It really aren't going to be worth your time when it comes to just the mobility. Though, like I said, you may already have a Peloton account for your workouts, and if so, the pre and post workout routines on there are pretty decent. But let me know what you think in the comments below. If you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it as always, and suggest checking out this video comparing all of the connected fitness rowers. This is Colin Jenkins with Connect the Watts, and I'll see you next time.